Hey guys, what's up? This is Nani here from Tech Barrack Solutions, and today I will review the Apple iPhone 5. Apple iPhone 5 is the latest mobile phone from Apple. So let's begin the review with the design of the mobile phone. Apple is a company who is known for its build quality. And the Apple iPhone 5 has got an awesome build quality. Apple has made use of the anodized aluminium to make this particular iPhone. If you observe more carefully, Apple has added a shiny surface on the top and the bottom corners of this particular iPhone. This particular shiny surface has been cut with the help of diamond and high precision instruments. This shiny surface can easily get scratched. However, the back surface is really scratch resistant. The back surface also has small space at the top and at the bottom which is made up of glass which is just like the Apple iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4s. The back also has a 8 megapixel camera sensor along with a microphone for ambient sound reduction and also an LED flash. We have the Apple logo at the center of the back cover and at the bottom of the back cover we have the Apple engraving as usual. At the bottom of the phone, we have a speaker, a 8-pin digital cable slot, a microphone and a 3.5mm headphone jack. At the top, we have the power button or you could say the standby button. On the left hand side, we have the volume rockers and the silent button. On the right hand side, we have the nano SIM card slot. And if you observe more carefully, on the sides we have the network bands on the top and on the bottom. And on the front screen we have the FaceTime HD camera which can shoot 720p video at 30 frames per second. A microphone for listening while you are calling and a home button as usual. So that is basically the design of this Apple iPhone 5. Let's talk about the display of the Apple iPhone 5. The Apple iPhone 5 has got a 4 inch display which is measured diagonally. It has got a LED backlit IPS TFT capacitive touch screen. The screen is of Corning Gorilla Glass and it also has an oleophobic coating on it in order to restrict the fingerprints of our fingers. And it has got a screen resolution of 640 by 1136 pixels which provides approximately 326 ppi that is 326 pixels per inch approximately. And that's pretty good. And it's a retina display that's what Apple calls it. So that's pretty much the display. Let's talk about the memory department of the Apple iPhone 5. The Apple iPhone 5 provides very limiting options to the users. The iPhone 5 can be bought either in the 16GB, 32GB or the 64GB model. Now the maximum storage is 64GB on the Apple iPhone 5. However, there are Android smartphones which can provide up to 128GB of maximum storage. So on this particular note, on this particular section I would say, that's the memory department, the iPhone 5 definitely lacks than the other smartphones out there. Let's talk about the cellular and the wireless section of the Apple iPhone 5. The Apple website clearly mentions that the iPhone 5 supports GSM that is 2G, 3G and LTE that is 4G and it also supports CDMA and all the bands of what it supports have been listed on your screens and it also supports Wi-Fi which is, to, uh, which is at 2.4 GHz or at 5 GHz. In the Wi-Fi section it supports A, B, G or N and it has the Bluetooth 4.0 wireless technology. So that is basically the cellular and the wireless section. Let's talk about the hardware of the Apple iPhone 5. The Apple iPhone 5 is packed with the Apple A6 chip. It's got a dual core processor which is clocked at 1.2 GHz and it's also got 1 GB RAM. If we have a look at the Apple A6 chip from the inside, you can see this has got the dual ARM cores, that's the dual cores and we have got three GPUs so because of these three GPUs the Apple iPhone 5 is the best smartphone with the GPU and playing games on the Apple iPhone 5 will be an awesome experience so for gamers 
Apple iPhone 5 is definitely a must. Let's talk about the features of the Apple iPhone 5. The Apple iPhone 5 comes with iOS 6 pre-installed. iOS 6 brings in certain cool features like Siri has been updated with certain new features like getting scores of your favorite sport or getting information about movies, opening applications. Let's have a try at that. Football As you can see it gives me the scores of all the football teams of the English Premier League. Let's try something else. Movies. I found quite a number of movies. So as you can see I get a lot of information about the upcoming movies. Let's try opening an application. Open Safari. As soon as I say open Safari, it opens up Safari. So that's uh, really cool. And let me just prove that it opens Safari. So that's really nice. Now Apple I iOS 6 also brings in the new Apple Maps which has been a big flop. It's got certain features like 3D viewing and all that stuff. But people have criticized it a lot. You can uh, go through the features of the Apple Maps through the Apple website we also have the Facebook integration we have the shared photo streams on iCloud that means all your photos will get shared with all your devices which have which have your iCloud account synced with it so that's really nice then we have the mobile wallet that is the passbook you can have your boarding passes tickets and other stuff right in your iPhone now we have certain more features in the phone section that is like if you're getting a call and you want to say you don't want to pick up the phone you're busy you can just message him like I'll call you later or something like that then we have the VIP mailing list in the mail app we have the Safari full screen feature let's try that let's visit any website let's say techbarrack.com and as soon as I go into this mode you can see I'm in the full screen mode so I can switch off the full screen mode by clicking this button so there are certain features like that and some new features are the share options these are the new share options that have been added in the Safari section then we have certain more features in the accessibility section and last but not the least the FaceTime, FaceTime can now be done through 3G so that's really awesome so that's pretty much the features of the Apple iPhone 5 running iOS 6. Let's talk about the performance of the Apple iPhone 5. In the performance section we will talk about the battery performance, the media playback performance, we'll perform a screen test, we'll talk about the app performance, the gaming performance, the browser performance and finally not last but not the least the touch screen performance. Let's begin with the battery performance of the Apple iPhone 5. As usual, Apple has not specified the battery size of the Apple iPhone 5. However, various websites all over the internet say that Apple iPhone 5 is packed with a 1440 mAh battery and comparing this particular battery with the previous generation iPhones like the iPhone 4 or the iPhone 4S, there has been a very small increase in the battery size that is around 10 mAh or 20 mAh. Now that's not big. So expect that you will get a similar kind of battery performance as the Apple iPhone 4 and the Apple iPhone 4s. What Apple has been doing in the last two years is just optimizing the software to provide much better battery performance. However, until and unless you increase the size of the battery to a good extent, you cannot expect to get a great battery performance. Now there are smartphones out there like Samsung Galaxy S3 which have 2100 mAh battery and they provide pretty good battery performance. My battery performance was pretty small. It didn't give me much. I got a usage of 5 hours 38 minutes which is almost exactly same as my iPhone 4 and I got a standby which was more than the iPhone 4 that is a uh, one day so I had to charge the phone only once in the whole day and this particular battery performance I got from playing games playing music playing lots of videos on YouTube playing mo movies on my iPhone and using a number of applications and 
last but not not the least my I had some six email accounts which were in constant sync with the server they are all push email accounts and they, they were in constant sync with the server so it be used constant 3G data or Wi-Fi wherever I went so that was my battery performance so you can judge on how much battery performance you will get depending on your usage let's talk about the media playback performance of the Apple iPhone 5 in the media playback performance we will talk about the sound performance as well as the video performance let's begin with the sound performance the Apple iPhone 5 is capable of playing file formats such as AIFF, AAC, WAV and as well as MP3 now the files can range from bitrate of 8 to 320 so that that's really nice let's try playing some sound so that we can get an idea of how loud the sound is on the Apple iPhone 5 As you can see the sound is loud enough, it's clear and the quality of the sound coming out of the speaker is really nice. If you have used previous generation iPhones like the iPhone 4 or the iPhone 4S, you can immediately make out that the sound is louder than these previous generation iPhones and the sound is loud enough so that you can hear it in noisy areas. I've also recorded few sounds of my own voice just to check how good the iPhone 5 performs at recording your voice in noisy areas at zero noisy area and mild noisy areas and that's I have done that basically because it's got an extra microphone for ambient sound reduction as you can see right over here so let's play a sound I recorded in a zero noisy area so now I'm testing the Apple iPhone 5 sound recording in a very closed room where there's no fast moving winds and very less ambient sound so it's next to zero I've closed everything so you shouldn't be getting outside external sound so the sound should be clear and very good at the output so let's uh, test that was zero noise area let's go for a mild noise area this is just a test audio that I'm trying to record and there's a lot of sound around me so I'm trying to test it in the surroundings just to check how good the noise reduction and the wind reduction is in the iPhone 5. So I don't know how my sound will be sounding but till now I'm feeling good using the iPhone 5. So that's pretty good. So that was the mild noisy area. Let's try highly noisy area. I'm just testing out the noise reduction feature of the Apple iPhone 5 and currently it's very noisy in here so let's see how the sound comes out so I'm currently really enjoying the, using the Apple iPhone 5 it's pretty good it's sleek it's small and what else so as you can see the sound comes out really nice though there are sounds of vehicles coming in but your sound sounds really nice because of the new microphone so that's really nice now last but not the least in the sound performance I will be talking about these new ear pods now these new ear pods have got a new design and they've got special ducts in here for better, better bass levels and all and Apple says the sound quality will definitely improve now what I notice with these new headphones is that they are really very comfortable you can use these headphones for a long time like for hours and your ears will not ache that's definitely for sure the sound quality has also improved and that's really nice but the improvement is not that uh, great that you can compare it with high high-end headphones so they are definitely a good headphones but not an exceptional ones so that's what I would like to say about these headphones let's talk about the video playback performance the Apple iPhone 5 supports various video playback files that is M4V MOV and MPEG 4 so that's really nice and it can play files up to 1080p that will also include 720p files both are HD so that's really nice again now Apple iPhone 5 has got an, an aspect ratio of 16 is to 9 so you won't get that black checkerboard on top and bottom you will get the video video will cover the whole screen so that's really nice and that, that the, the black checkerboard problem used to come in the previous generation iPhones like the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4s and furthermore down so that's really nice about the Apple iPhone 5 now let me just try playing a file of the which Apple iPhone supports 
and this is a MOV file it's a 1080p file so let me just play it and as you can see it plays perfectly fine there is no black checkerboards on the top and the bottom it covers the full screen and the clarity is very nice you can see everything properly so you can see there is no lag also the, so the performance of playing 1080p files is really nice now if you have a file which is of some other format and which may be like MKV and now maximum files on the internet that you will file will be of MKV so they can be 720p or 1080p now there are various applications which allow you to play this uh, particular files and now these applications play these files perfectly fine so if you have a 720p file let me play that for you As you can see the file is getting played perfectly fine it's a 720p file so that is really nice now if you are having a 1080p file of some other file format like 10 uh, it's mkv in here let me just play that for you of let's say melbourne and i get the sunrise that is 6 for sunset and of let's there is no lag again in the video however the clarity gets deteriorated in these other file formats so that's really a disappointment so if you are having a 1080p file, I would definitely suggest that you go for MOV, M4V or MPEG4. So that's pretty much the playback performance, that's the video playback performance of the Apple iPhone 5. Let's talk about the application performance on the Apple iPhone 5. Let me just clear up all the applications so that we can start the app performance. Let's open some applications like messages. Let's just type in something. Let's open some other application let's select some date let's say I go to February and let's select 27th great now when I select 27th Feb uh, let's go to the YouTube application and check out the scrolling the scrolling is very smooth there is no white checkerboards which used to come in the previous generation iPhones so this is again one of the indications that yes this is a fast smartphone now let's uh, go and select calculator now let's do some calculation let's say anything random remember these values I'll just let you know why I'm trying to say that let's open up Crickbus let's go to any one of the things on Crickbus okay so now let's go to Google Currents in Google Currents just select something some sort of stuff let's say I go to the YouTube stuff okay selected it now let's go to the App Store okay we are in the Flickr application let's say I go to some other application let's say let's just scroll in so that we can even get to know how fast the scrolling is let's select any one of the applications I've selected DJ for iPhone then let's go to the iBooks application in the iBooks application let's open one of the books okay so I'm just scrolling ahead let's open up some other application let's open up game let's say I open up uh, temple run okay so as you can see I've just paused the game and I'm all doing this to check the app performance I'll let you know why now I have opened up tons of application now let's open up the previously opened application so let's open up uh, calculator let's say and you can see the same value comes up there is no loading time it is faster than the previous generation iPhones because in the previous generation iPhones there used to be some small sort of loading time while, while you're opening the previous uh, previously opened applications so that has gone now let's try opening let's say YouTube okay YouTube was over here so that's not something great let's open Crickbus a Crickbus was in the India Park game and you can see it didn't load up now this is the application which uses the internet it directly loaded up the stuff it did not require any internet connection anymore so that's really fast now let's try opening the currents application now it's exactly the same place where I was while I, uh, I was previously using this application now let's open the game that's temple run you can see we had paused over here and it opened up right over there so that's really nice so you can see the application performance has definitely improved and that's really nice
let's just switch off these application now let's check out the individual applications like the camera application now the camera application has got a front camera and the back camera the back camera is capable of shooting 1080p videos at 30 frames per second the front camera is capable of shooting 720p videos at 30 frames per second let me just check out the new image processor of the Apple iPhone let's get this particular Rubik cube and let's just click photographs of it and as you can see in a blink of an eye I have clicked number of photographs and that's basically because of the fast image processor so that it really proves that this iPhone is really very fast now let's just check out any one of the video which I just shot through this particular camera so that you can get an idea of how good the clarity of the phone is while shooting videos So you can see the video is really nice in quality and clarity so the camera is definitely a plus point of this iPhone 5 it's got an amazing camera and Apple has got a history of creating some good cameras in the in the smartphones Apple iPhone 5 comes with the Apple A6 chip you all know that the Apple A6 chip definitely helps the Apple iPhone 5 in loading the web pages faster now the Sun Spider test of the Apple iPhone 5 is around 914 milliseconds and that's a very very small value the smaller the value the better it is because the web pages load up much faster now no other smartphone has come to such a small value and that's why Apple iPhone 5 has an edge over all the other smartphones for the browsing performance. Let me just demonstrate you the browsing performance so you can get what I'm trying to say. First, we will clear the history and clear the cookies and data. We are going to use Safari because that's the default browser that comes pre-installed on the Apple iPhone 5. So let's try visiting certain websites like theverge.com. So we are in the Verge mobile website and it's almost loaded up. So lightly. So it's loaded up now and let's go at the bottom and visit the full website. I'm opening Verge because it's got lots of images on the website. So that should get us an idea whether we have white checkerboards or not. So the website has loaded up almost. Okay, so the website is finally loaded up. Now if I go scroll down, you can see there's no white checkerboards which used to come in previous generation iPhones. Now that's gone. And let's try clicking on any one of the articles so I've clicked on Ubuntu touch based OS so the article has also almost loaded up now let's just double click for seeing how good the text looks the text becomes very sharp and it hardly takes time to even improve the text so that's really nice you can see it's really very very clear it's super clear and the Apple A6 chip definitely provides a top class browsing experience let's try cnet.com
the mobile website has already loaded up that was pretty quick let me just go to the full desktop website so we are in the desktop website and as you can see it's loaded up almost and it's loaded up the website now and you can see everything is properly arranged and there's no checkerboards it's very smooth so that's the browsing performance and definitely it is an awesome experience to browse the internet on the Apple iPhone 5 that's pretty much the application performance of the Apple iPhone 5 let us perform a screen test on the Apple iPhone 5 so first we will begin with the brightness now before proceeding with the brightness let me just tell you that the black levels should be as small as possible and the white levels should be as large as possible so I am at minimum brightness at the moment and the white levels at minimum brightness is 8 nits and the black levels is 0 0.006 nits while as I increase the brightness I'm sorry for that as soon as I increase the brightness you can immediately make out that the brightness quality and the brightness level of the iPhone 5 is extraordinarily very high and it's really good because the brightness should be as large as possible because it helps you to read the text more clearly if you're in a very bright area and the white levels at the maximum brightness is 562 nits and the black levels is 0 0.412 nits so definitely there is a small increase in the black levels but that's fine that's pretty pretty much okay now if you have a look at the color saturation the color saturation is also very good the colors look much more vivid on the Apple iPhone 5 I will just show you what I mean by the vivid so I'll just go to photos now I have got bunch of photographs let me just select them now these photographs I have shot them through the DSLR camera of Sony that's Sony A77 and if you look at the colors they are just brilliant and let me just zoom in so that you can have a look at it much better now let's go ahead now this I'll, I'll just browse through the images so that you can get an idea and if you have a look at this particular image we have the sun and the sun looks really stunning the colors are natural now if you have a look at other smartphones like Samsung, Samsung has an AMOLED screen. Now what happens in the AMOLED screen is that all the colors are oversaturated. The saturation levels on the iPhone 5 are pretty much to the normal. They are very close to the normal range and that's why the colors look extraordinarily normal on the Apple iPhone 5. So let me just browse ahead. And in this particular image you can see the greens have come out really well and the greens over here on the left hand corner and the right hand corner they are very light they are real colors they are natural and over here they are the dark ones so again that is natural if you look at this particular image on the galaxy phones you will definitely observe that the right hand corner and the left hand corner green grass will be much more darker and that's basically because of their AMOLED screens and on the HTC on HTC devices you will find these colors to be much more less darker because their phones have a uh, their phones are little undersaturated that's the reason why that problem comes in in those devices now over here the colors are simply stunning I'll again browse in through the images and this image is of a peacock and if you see the colors look very very stunning you can see every bit of colors properly let me just move ahead and over here we have a flower and I've just zoomed in into the flower so that you can get an idea of how the colors look on the Apple iPhone 5 and this is completely snow you can see the whites are really very good they, are, they look really natural so that's really nice and this is a waterfall this is again a mountain and some waters from the mountains so uh, let me just browse through the images and this is a bird flying, two birds flying let me try zooming in so let's forward the images so we have a train coming from the top of the mountains in here and we have a sun right at the top between the clouds it looks really nice and then we have a video over here 
now let me just play one of the videos so that you can get an idea of what I'm trying to say by the vivid colors you can look at the black color of the butterfly it looks really nice and look at the darker colors of the flowers which will come ahead in the video so that you can get an idea look at the color of this particular flower and the leaf it's it comes out into your eye so it looks really nice the colors are really natural once again so let me just fast forward this that would be great for our screen test so that is pretty much the screen test and the screen is just extraordinarily awesome I would just say that so that's the screen test and the Apple iPhone 5 definitely is way better than any other device out there though its resolution is lesser than the other smartphones but it still performs much better than the other smartphones at the screen let's check out the gaming performance of the Apple iPhone 5 now the Apple iPhone 5 as I told you previously in the hardware section has got three GPUs so definitely it should perform very nicely than any other smartphone because of the three GPUs inside their chip so let's uh, begin with some games let's say ninja now this particular game has not been optimized for the Apple iPhone 5 but it works perfectly fine you get two black checkerboards on the top and the bottom however the graphics are not deteriorated it works perfectly fine in that small box of it So there we go, that was this particular game, that's Ninja. And now let's try out Can Knockdown. I'll show you something in the Can Knockdown game, which didn't come so well on the previous generation iPhones, like the iPhone 4S or the iPhone 4. So let's begin this game. Now you have this particular bomb in here now which will blast if I as you can see the graphics in this particular part where the blast happened was really nice and these graphics didn't came out well on the Apple iPhone 4 and the Apple iPhone 4s now this definitely proves that the Apple iPhone 5 has got a better hardware to play games let's try it once again So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so that's pretty much with this game. Let's try out Temple Run. It's quite a famous game. So that's pretty much the temple run game. Let's check out some other game like cut the rope. It's got pretty good graphics. Oops, I'm really very sorry for that. But you can see the graphics are really nice. It comes out pretty well and the game has also been optimized for the Apple iPhone 5. 
Now let's try out some landscape games like Angry Birds. Okay, so let me just zoom out. Now if I zoom in, you can see the graphics improve immensely. So the graphics are definitely nice. The quality of sound is also very nice. So I lost the game. So that's pretty much the Angry Birds. Let me show you Asphalt 7. This is a really very nice car racing game and it's a HD game so the graphics ha has to be very nice. Okay, so the graphics are really nice. That's what I wanted to show you guys. So it's pretty good. Now last but not, uh, not the least, uh, we have the Blood and Glory game part 2. And it's a very nice game. It's got really nice graphics. So let's begin this, begin playing this game. So let's begin fighting. It's my first game guys so it will give me the tutorial, I'm sorry for that. You can definitely see the graphics are very nice. It looks really very nice. So that's pretty much the game guys. And definitely the iPhone 5 is definitely very good at the gaming performance. And for all those gamers, iPhone 5 is definitely a must buy. Let's perform the touch screen test on the Apple iPhone 5. Apple is known for creating marvelous touch screens and they came up with these awesome touch screens on mobile phones and also tablets. So I'm going to test it out and in the iPhone 5 what Apple has done is that they have removed an extra glass layer 
So what happens is that the touch sensor and the main glass is connected together. So there's this small air gap which has been removed and Apple says that it improved touch performance. So let's uh, see that. I'm just going to draw lines and uh, I'm going to draw the lines slowly so that we come to know how much lines go haywire so that we can come to know how good the touch is. So let's begin. You can see at the edge the touch just shoots up that's because the screen cannot recognize where my hand is pointing all the smartphones tend to do that so don't worry about that and if I do it fast you can observe that I get a straight line so when I'm gonna make a line very fast I'm not gonna get to know how good the touch is so that's why I'm making it slow So you can see the lines are pretty, 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 pretty straight and that's really nice. So the touch is really very nice and there's this thing about Apple products that when you touch them, you feel something different from the other products. The touch is really nice and the screen quality is also very nice. So definitely the touch is really nice. Now I'm going to perform a multi-touch test. Now this particular application allows you to press 5 fingers at once. So it does not allow more than that. The Apple iPhone 5 can definitely support more than that. But at the moment I'm just going to show you the fluidity of multi-touch on Apple iPhone 5. One, two. You can see it's really fluid. It's detecting my hand three, gesture pretty four, well. Five. Let's go for five fingers at once. Six, seven, eight, four, nine. So I've got five fingers on the touch screen and it's detecting pretty well. You can see these were the last last spots of my fingers. So that's pretty much the multi-touch screen test. There are certain problems which I found in the Apple iPhone 5. I will divide this in two parts. First, I will talk about the hardware problems and second, I will talk about the software problems. In the hardware department, the worst thing I found with the Apple iPhone 5 was the new digital lightning cable. And I don't know why Apple did that. They say that they wanted to reduce the thickness of the Apple iPhone and so they did that. But what has happened in return is that all the scars and music system use that old 30 pin dock or you could say the 30 pin connector. So I need to buy a converter that cost me $30 and Apple does not provide me that converter for free so I need to spend extra even after buying such a high quality phone the second issue with the hardware is there is no external storage I have got only inbuilt storage that is a 16, 32 or 64 GB model if I want to increase my storage I, can, I have no option for that now Apple has to get an external SD card slot very soon so that users can increase their storage third was the battery now I don't know why Apple kept the battery almost the same and the battery performance was pretty much average they have just optimized the software to provide a much better battery performance but it was not that great now comes the software department in the software department there are certain features which I, which I still don't like in the Apple iPhone 5 like I have got certain applications open let's say I have opened three applications now if I want to close these applications, I have to close these applications one by one. I cannot close them by a single button, you know, like kill all the applications. So that is really annoying. Second thing which I found was bad was the default app. If I have got two apps like Safari and Chrome, both are web browsers, I cannot select Chrome as my default web browser. Safari will always remain my default web browsers. In the camera application, I cannot set my own settings for exposure, contrast or add some tones like sepia. Now, all these features need to be there so that expert users can take photos with their own desired settings. Now there is a lack of a good file management. Now all the applications are arranged very well and I transfer my, uh, I transfer my, I transfer my files to my iPhone 5 and they get stored in the application. I don't know which folder inside the iPhone file management where it is getting stored. I don't, I don't know that at all. So Apple has to bring a proper file management. Now if I'm using 
Windows, Mac or any operating system. I know where I'm storing my files. So definitely this has to come in the future upgrades of Apple iPhone. Oh, so that my final verdict on the Apple iPhone 5 is that it is an awesome phone and it is definitely be going to be bought by a number of people because of Apple's fan falling and also because people will like this particular phone. I would rate it 4 on 5 and for all those Apple users of the previous generation iPhones, if you're using an iPhone 4, you should definitely think about upgrading to Apple iPhone 5. But for the Apple iPhone 4S users, you should think twice before upgrading to Apple iPhone 5 because you will find a similar kind of performance. But definitely Apple iPhone 5 will lead in the performance. And for all those smartphone users who are planning to buy a new smartphone, you should definitely think about Apple iPhone 5 because it is going to be one of the top class smartphones for 2012 and 2013. So that's it with this review of Apple iPhone 5 guys. I hope you liked it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrick.com.